Hello people, welcome back. This is a question from gate 2002 exam. It's for two marks. They have given you this circuit in the question. Also, they have specified these three functions f1, f2 and function f, the function on output of this circuit. You need to find out what is this function f3. Okay. And these are the four options given in the question. Okay. Now, you know, working with NAND gates or NOR gates is a bit hectic. Okay. We prefer AND and OR gates. So let's convert this circuit into a circuit of AND gates and OR gates. Okay. Now you see, I've drawn the exact same circuit here. I have not changed anything. See, this is AND gate. This is AND gate. This one is a NOT gate. This one is a NOT gate. Now this NOT gate, this entire circuit is a NAND this entire circuit will also be an AND gate. Okay. I've just separated this AND and NOT. And this NOT, uh, NAND is kept as it is. Okay. So I haven't changed anything yet. Now, if you notice carefully, this part, this much, it is an OR gate. Okay. This can be replaced by an OR gate. How? See, both of the inputs of a NAND are complemented. Okay. This one is a or gate how expression for NAND is a dot b whole complement okay but both of its inputs are complemented that means a complement and b complements NAND is performed if you perform NAND of a complement and b complement you will get a plus b okay how is this a plus b just apply De Morgan's law here dot will be changed to plus and this complement it will be splitted on both the sides. Now you know double complement can be ignored easily. Okay. So we got OR of A and B. That's the reason I'm saying to just replace that entire circuit with the OR gate. Let's do that. So I've just simplified the given circuit. Also I've noted down these min terms. Okay. Now, I haven't used the proper notation here. I've just noted down these numbers. But the proper notation is sigma, then brackets, followed by the comma separated values. Okay. This is the proper notation. Anyways, I think you're getting it. So, what will be the output of this AND gate? Let's analyze it. AND will output 1. Only when both of its inputs are 1. Let us find when both of its inputs are 1. On 5, 5 is only uh, a value where both of these wires will contain a positive voltage at the same time. Okay. That means output of this AND gate will be high only when the input to these functions is 5. See, when the values of x, y, z are such that, that this string of x, y, z becomes 5. That means 1, 0, 1. Only on only in that specific case, both of these wires is going to contain a positive voltage because both F1 and F2 will output a one on input is equal to five. Okay, so this is the function that you are going to get on this wire. This one is a OR gate. Whenever even one input of OR gate is high, it will output a high. And on five, this input is high, so you will get a high voltage on input is equal to 5. But we also need high voltage on 1 and 4. Okay. Let's now manipulate the second input such that we get output is equal to high on 1 and 4. That means this function has to be sigma 1 comma 4. Okay. We can have 5 here as well because even if both the inputs are high, still OR gate is going to output a high. You can see that is option A, 1, 4 and 5. Okay. So this question can have two answers. First one is this. Second one is sigma 1, 4. Okay. Both of these are correct. But only 1, 4 and 5 is present in the options. So you can assume it to be your answer. Okay.